relationship advice. My wife, 26 female, was attacked while working as an escort behind my, 28 male, back. She claims she's unable to hold any other job. My wife, 26 female, used to stay home. However, we fell on hard times when the economy started shutting down, and my work drastically cut my hours. We have no kids, so I asked my wife to please get a job and help out so we don't fall behind on bills. That was when she first brought up becoming an escort. She had friends who did it and said it would bring in good money. I made it clear that I did not want her escorting, and that there were a lot of jobs, albeit lower paying jobs, that were open in town. She worked as a cashier for a while, but would complain that the customers were rude and that she felt looked down upon. She ended up leaving during her shifts and was fired. She then told me that her affluent half-sister's friend had a virtual customer coordinator position open. She said she would be doing basically virtual customer service, but in a more managerial role and would report to her boss regarding customer feedback. She even showed me the job posting and description from the company website. So, I was glad when her income started helping with the bills. She told me she needed to go on frequent business trips for team meetings. She also claimed she had to go to the local office occasionally to work on team projects or give presentations. I trusted her. However, I come home one night exhausted from my shift to find her on the couch, all bloody and bruised, with hand marks near her neck. She had told me earlier that she was going to be at the local headquarters for an extended period of time due to a deadline. I asked what happened and said we needed to get her to the hospital and call the police. She said she couldn't go to the hospital. She finally broke down and said she lied about everything. And that she couldn't keep a job. And she wasn't good enough to get a desk job, but she felt it was too demeaning to work a face-to-face -face service job. She admitted that she has been meeting both men and women in hotel rooms when she said she was doing stuff for work. Her business trips were for when clients wanted her to travel farther, and be with them longer. She said a regular client of hers had an alcohol problem, and he ended up beating her up during S. He cried and said he couldn't help himself after, and gave her extra money and begged her not to tell because they'd both go down for this. She refused to give me his name and asked that I help heal her. I'm so angry right now. She's been crying and saying she's sorry for letting me down, but we needed the money. She said the other jobs were so awful and made her feel like a second-class citizen, while this one made her feel like she had value. What do I do? Is this something that can be worked out? What about the money she earned from escorting? Do I refuse to accept it? Should I give her a chance to stop escorting? I get no sympathy when I talk about this with my sister, because she is saying that I am not being as positive, or that not everybody can work for snotty customers all day. Now for the top advice. That would be the end of the relationship for me. The lies and also putting your body at risk through sleeping with others behind your back, whether for pay or not. Best wishes to you, but if I were in that relationship it would be over. She began sleeping with strangers for money, but felt she was too good to work a customer service job? Nope. Get tested for STDs and file for divorce. OP kick this trash out to the street where she belongs. How is this even a question? I'd kick her out right now. Even lifting one finger to help her, should be out of the question. Screw S positive, that's plain and simple cheating. I'd get out, that's a serious issue and one that could never be fixed in my eyes. It's not even a one-time thing, the fact she lied so profusely and all the time about it? What else? Yep. Wanted to cheat. She might not even be an escort. Might be getting money from just the one guy she's seeing and that's why she is protecting him. She cheated on you, lied to you, and manipulated you with tears. She has zero respect for you. This is grounds for divorce. You could stay, but don't expect her to change because she has no respect for you. Your wife cheated on you. Horrible what happened to her, but it's her problem, not yours. S work is work, and whatever else people love saying these days, but it doesn't change the fact she went behind your back and effing other men is still effing other men, regardless of whether or not she's being paid for it. Redditors might get all misty-eyed and pretend that due to the financial circumstances and in light of what happened to her, that you forgive her. I disagree. She had other options, this is what she chose. Again. It doesn't remotely justify what happened to her, but it's no longer your responsibility to help her pass this. What do I do? Is this something that can be worked out? What about the money she earned from escorting do I refuse to accept it? Should I give her a chance to stop escorting? Those are things only you can answer. She cheated on you. Put the idea of escorting out of your head. 
She cheated plain and simple, it was ongoing, she might have exposed you to STDs. Can you forgive that? Can you learn to trust her again? Do you feel that you'll be able to vent your feelings or will you need to bottle them up to help her through this if you stay? Can you take that money without being resentful? Can you believe she won't go behind your back again? Now for the last story. Girlfriend wants to break up to have other experiences, then cross paths again later in life. My, 22, girlfriend, 21, of 2 years and 10 months recently broke things off. There were no real big indicators that she was unhappy in the relationship and we had been talking about getting married for a long time now. I don't want to spend too much time explaining the depth of our relationship. But we were incredibly close, essentially family to one another. Our families were very close and knew we had a plan to get married. She recently lost two family members in a very short time span, and for about a week communication dwindled. She then asked if I was able to meet up to talk, when we did meet and when she showed up, she was already bawling her eyes out. After a few minutes I asked if it was about her family and she finally spoke. She said she originally came here to break up with me, but seeing me made her remember how much she loves me, and couldn't do it. She said she had felt a disconnect the last few months and that she needed to be alone. She said she felt like there were other experiences she was missing out on, and that our relationship was settling down too fast. She had other things she wanted to do in life, like join the military and live in other countries, as well as travel and be with friends, which I didn't know she had a serious plan to execute. Our relationship had started to slow down over the last year or so, I was in my senior year of college and had a lot on my plate, so we were doing less new things. She had a study abroad trip in Europe that was cut short due to the pandemic, and when she came home, I was working basically every day for the National Guard doing COVID work. So, we definitely had less time for each other, I felt a lot of pressure having just graduated and looking to enter the workforce. Since we had always talked about getting married, I was talking to her about getting an apartment together too. I think all of these things coupled with the fact that she was now entering her senior year could have been overwhelming for her. She asked me to take the week to think about what she said, and then meet again. My emotions ran high all week, not knowing why this was the first I was hearing of these concerns. When we met, I told her I couldn't agree to put my life on hold to go with her after the way she didn't communicate with me. She said she felt like she needed to be alone for a while and we both just started crying together for about an hour. She said this has been the most meaningful relationship she had ever been in, and loved me so much and still wants to be together, she just has to feel ready and know what she wants, which I understand. She asked to take a break for 6 months and meet again then to discuss, I agreed. She brought up the possibility of seeing other people during this break, which I said was a deal breaker for me. I told her how I was planning on buying a ring once I got a full time job, and she said she still wanted that ring just when the time was right. We ended up just talking again as friends for the rest of the day and joking and having fun, we ended up having s also and then said goodbye. After about a week of no contact I texted her asking to talk again. Because there were still some things I didn't understand. She set up a time to talk again and we called. I told her I had learned a lot over the time of no contact about what I was lacking from the relationship, I felt like I had given up a lot of myself in our relationship, and like I had become sort of stagnant. She agreed that those things were also a factor to her decision and that she wanted to fulfill a sense of adventure. I asked why she felt like she had to end our relationship to do things like travel or be with friends, since those were things, we both did individually while well together. She said she felt like she couldn't leave me alone without getting stressed that something in our relationship would start to suffer. I still didn't understand this, because we both were very independent people. She said she felt like she still had growing to do and wanted this growth to not be attached to someone else and to do so individually. We had to cut the call short because of work, but we agreed to talk again in a few days after having time to think again. When this time finally came around, she said her mind had been made up and that there were three things she felt she had to do before she would be ready to settle down. 1. Live in another country or state 2. Focus on her career for a few years, do a military contract, and 3 have other relationships. This hit hard, so I got what I needed off my chest for closure of the relationship. I felt ready to spend the rest of my life with her, but she said she couldn't be 100% sure of the same without going and seeing the world first. By the end of what I needed to say, we were both crying and she said that it was nothing I did wrong, despite whatever issues we had, she just needs to do these things as an individual. That she still loves me so much and wants to be with me, that I am everything she wants and that this was the most meaningful relationship she had ever had. 
She said that she wants to have these experiences and then reconnect in a few years, to be able to bring back new lessons learned to our relationship. She acknowledged feeling like this was a mistake and something she may regret doing later in life if things don't work out, but that she believed in fate, so if it was meant to be it would be. I told her I understood and wouldn't want her to be in a relationship with me and resent it because she missed out on life. We talked and caught up with each other just talking as friends again, and she said she had been having a tough time with being apart, and I said I was going through the same. Eventually we decided to say goodbye, and that she thought it'd be best if we didn't have contact or follow each other's social media anymore, because that would make it harder, I guess I agree with that. My mind already knows what my heart doesn't, and I'll have to move on from having the girl I wanted to marry slip away. This would be 5 years apart at the shortest and obviously anything can change during that time. I had so much faith in our relationship after everything we had been through and how strong our bond had become, but now with the way things ended it makes me question all of it. Am I a sucker for wanting things to still work out someday? I've never loved something as much as I love her, and would be willing to give things another chance someday, but if we had been with other people I don't know if things would feel right. I realized how much focus I had put on my career and realized I wanted to take this time to grow and have new experiences and date new people also, I just don't know how to move on from this. Now for the top advice. It's going to sting like a bee before it gets better, but it will. Just, please, don't keep waiting around. You both might meet other people and decide you deserve better. You won't, if you keep hoping to get back together during this whole time. There's really nothing else to it. You'll just have to let go. Almost always the person who wants to do a walkabout, never comes back, and if they do, it's because you're plan B, not because you're the diamond in the rough she was looking for. I guarantee if you spend some time connecting with others, you'll know she isn't as great as you make her out to be in your mind. Already starting to realize this, I realized today how much I put our relationship on a pedestal and how many things I tolerated that I wasn't happy with. I know I have a lot I have to work on about myself still and that kind of kept me attached to the relationship when things weren't great. Thirding this. Please do not wait around. Take this as a sign that the relationship is officially over. Don't wait around, don't hold out hope. Grieve the relationship, and start healing. You will be incredibly happy when you get to spend 100% of your time and energy on yourself, and you'll grow in ways you probably can't imagine right now. Don't put your life on hold for a hypothetical. The years directly after college are so, so critical. You will be very glad that you get to focus on yourself during this time. If she calls, answer, be polite, but keep your boundaries up. Realizing this now. By no means do I plan to sit on my thumbs and wait for her to maybe call me someday. I'm going to move on and see new people eventually, I just need to heal first. Listen. You won't be the same person you are now in 5 years. You won't be the same person in 1 year. You just started your adult life. That change is a person. Learn from this relationship, but let it go. Don't start dreaming about future encounters with her. She has moved on, you will too. Meet new people, have new experiences, grow as an adult. There won't be 5 years from now. She'll end up knowing she made a mistake, try to find love and will, with somebody else to ease the pain. I too had a very similar experience when I was around your age. Turned out my girlfriend had been wanting to hook up with a guy we both knew. I was devastated when I found out and long story short, I ended up moving away and moving on. We did have a chance to hook back up a few years later, but by then I was almost married, we had both changed and also, I couldn't forget what she had done. What I'm trying to say is, life goes on my friend and if it is meant to be it will be. Good luck. Edit, I realized after today how messed up it is what she's asking of me. I'm truly disgusted with it and won't give her a second chance if she ever comes back. I think I was just holding on to what used to be and not thinking of my own future. Whether or not 